We see you every day. You take care of patients in every situation imaginable. You are good at what you do, but you always strive for better. Your time is valuable. That's why we are giving you Small Bites Learning Programs. You can learn a lot in a little bit of time. So let's get to it. Welcome to the Small Bites program, Double Gloving the Power of Two. In just a few minutes, you'll learn what double gloving with surgical gloves is, why it's important for your protection, how to double glove, and what to consider when selecting the right gloves. Let's get started. What is double gloving? Simply put, double gloving is wearing two pairs of sterile surgical gloves for an extra layer of protection during procedures. Double gloving isn't a passing fad. Double gloving safety is advocated for invasive surgeries and is becoming standard practice. Why you should double glove? There are several benefits of double gloving, but the main reason is reducing your exposure to risk. Did you know that 385,000 sharp injuries occur each year and 83% of glove breaches may go unnoticed, exposing clinicians to bloodborne pathogens? Wearing two gloves reduces the volume of blood on a solid suture needle by as much as 95%, reducing exposure to bloodborne pathogens. Double gloving is not only beneficial in helping to reduce risk, but it also has financial implications. Costs associated with blood exposure can range from $71 to almost $5,000, depending on the treatment provided. So double gloving is good for both you and your facility. If you aren't used to double gloving, it looks and feels a little different at first. Give yourself and the rest of your staff time to adjust. Let's watch this video that demonstrates the double gloving procedure. Select the gloves you'd like to wear in the correct size and make sure the packaging is intact without any rips or tears or moisture and that the gloves are not expired. Hand disinfection with SHA is necessary before opening of material. The gown is open on a large flat surface. The gloves are open alongside the gown on the same wrapper as the gown. Open the outer wrap of the glove package, starting at the top edge. This will expose the sterile inner wallet that contains your gloves. Flip the sterile inner wallet onto the sterile wrapper. Don the gown after surgical scrub. Unfold the inner wallet with your hands still inside the gown sleeves so that both the right and the left gloves are exposed. Pick up the dominant hand glove with your gown covered non-dominant hand. Lay the thumb to thumb with the fingers pointing up the arm towards your heart. Grasp the glove cuff on the bottom between your index finger and thumb of the gown covered dominant hand. Grasp the glove cuff on the top between your index finger and thumb of the gown covered non-dominant hand. Pull the top cuff over the end of the gown cuff on the dominant hand. Pick up the non-dominant hand glove with your glove covered dominant hand. Repeat this process to glove your non-dominant hand. Pull on the dominant and non-dominant hand top gloves. Once the glove covers the gown cuff opening, give the gown sleeve a gentle tug to ease the hand into the glove. This will prevent cuff tearing. Milk the fingers down if appropriate. Inspect all surfaces of the gloves, both hands. Visually check for any tears or holes in the glove. Immediately after donning, Flatten or smooth the glove cuff on the gown cuff interface to minimize channeling. This will help retain the integrity of the glove gown interface. Visually check for any tears or holes in the glove. If double gloving, repeat this process. Pull the top glove up over the underglove by at least an inch to help prevent cuff roll down. Double gloving is a best recommended practice and studies have shown that wearing a colored indicator underglove can reduce the time to spotting a breach from 67 seconds to 42 seconds. There are many different preferences when it comes to double gloving combinations, and there's no wrong combination when it comes to double gloving. 
The most important consideration is to ensure you have a good fit and that the gloves are comfortable and not too loose or too tight. When double gloving, it's important to select gloves that will still allow for optimal dexterity and tactility. Many manufacturers make choosing the right underglove easy by offering gloves specifically designed to be worn under a top glove. When selecting your underglove, look for a smooth finish that will allow you to easily don a top glove. When wearing both gloves, you should still be comfortable and have a full range of motion. You may need to try out different sizing for undergloves and top gloves until you find your perfect fit. It's also a clinical best practice to use synthetic gloves to help prevent reactions and sensitivities to natural rubber latex. Another important factor to look for in an underglove is color contrast. Using colored undergloves which contrast visually with the color of the top gloves, can provide a breach detection rate of up to 97% and reduce average time to awareness from 67 seconds to 42 seconds. For example, if your top glove is cream colored, then seek out a contrasting blue underglove. Or if you're performing an orthopedic surgery with a brown top glove, then use a contrasting cream color under glove. We know you would do anything to help those in need. Just as it's your instinct to give care, it's ours to help you stay safe every step of the way. Let's work together to encourage wearing two layers of protection as a best practice. Cardinal Health offers a full line of surgical gloves to meet your double gloving needs. For more information, visit cardinalhealth.com backslash double gloving.